Hi, class. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good. Everybody good? Yes, no? Yeah, teacher. Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Almost finishing the week, right? Only one more day left and then we're finished, right? The week. And then we go to the weekend. Yay. <laughs> you guys, uh, do, you, do you all work? Uh, on the weekend or do you work on the weekend or everybody's off on the weekend? I'm off. Uh, you're off on the weekend? Great. I work on Saturday. You have to work on Saturday? Yes. Oh. Uh, 8 to 12. Oh, okay. So it's not too much. Me too. Yeah, you too? Yeah. Oh no, well. That's life, right? <laughs> um, but you know, at least um, uh, the the afternoon you have it off, right? So, you know, that's some that's something positive. Okay, guys. Well, before uh, before further ado, we're gonna take our attendance for um, today's class. Let's start. Um, just give me a moment while I put this up. Okay. Um, all right, so let's begin with Anna Claudia. Present teacher. Ah, wonderful. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Great. I've got Alfredo. Present teacher. Wonderful. Janet. Janet, not here? Okay. All right. Fabiola. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Um, Francisco Javier. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Heidi Eugenia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Irene Susena. Irene? Not here? No? Okay. Um, Josue Alberto. Josue? No? Josue is not here? Okay. Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Carla, Carla Cano. Present teacher. Wonderful. Liliana Melissa. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, good. Eh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Manuel de Jesus. Present. Present. Wonderful. Marvin. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Wendy. Patricia. Wendy. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Werner. Present teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Present. All right. Noemi. Noemi? No, not there. Okay. Uh, Yvonne. Yvonne? No, okay. Daniel de los Santos. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay, uh, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, no. Okay. 
Eh, Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Ricardo Alexander. Ricardo? Ricardo, no? Okay. All right, so I'm going to repeat the names of the people that I didn't hear. And just to make sure that you're not, that they're not here, that I, that I missed them. Um, Janet? Janet? Okay. Um, Azucena? Irene Azucena? Josué Alberto? Okay. I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay. Eh, Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco? No. Okay. Uh, Noemi? Noemi? Okay. Eh, Yvonne? Yvonne? No? Okay. And uh, Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto? No? Okay. And finally, I have Ricardo Alexander. Ricardo Alexander? No, no problem. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, guys, in that case, um, we have completed the first um, attendance. So we are going to begin our class. First of all, thank you for being here on time. And uh, can I ask you guys a favor? Um, can you all help me out with your cameras? I would really, really appreciate that. Si me ayuden ahí a encender ahí sus camaritas. Les agradecería bastante. Okay. Y si hay alguno que tiene problemas ahí para encenderlo o algo así, me, me, me avisa. Okay. Entonces, por favor, me hacen ese favorcito ahí de encender la camarita. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, first of all, uh, we're going to start with the class. We're going to begin with um, Can you all see this? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so this is the beginning, module five, unit one. The name of the unit one is manufacturing and today is thursday april 15th 2021 it's day number three and your facilitator is jessica Guerrero. okay so let's begin all right so um remember this this was actually something that we did that uh this is the powerpoint from last class because this was the homework so it says work individually, which you obviously did because this was for homework. Prepare a two minute presentation about a product from your company. Introduce important information about this product using what clauses and present the, um, the information in small groups. So that's what we're gonna do right now, okay? So this was for homework. You should all have done it. And now it's time for us to share in our groups, okay? Before we, before we go to our groups, do you guys have any questions about this? Something you would like me to, you would like to ask me? No? No, me. It's okay? All right. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna, I'm going to assign everybody. Um, Uh, Warner, do you own, you only have one, one device, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. All right, just making sure that, so that I can. Oh, no. Okay. All right. La tarea sí la hice, teacher, pero voy en el carro. Cuando llegue, se la, se la presento. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just, I'm going to send you to the group though, so that you can be with them and listen to them. And if possible, you can tell them a little bit, but at least you can be with them. Okay. 
All right, so um, por alguna, creo, just give me a second, creo que sí, nos subió ahorita el número, así es que los voy a, quiero ver. Okay. Oh. Ah, no, 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 to work, I'm going to give you, I say, um, I'll give you about seven minutes so that everybody can present and you can have a little bit of time in between, okay? So here we go. Let's open up the groups. Hello, Haiti. Were you not assigned a group? Oh, okay. There we go. I I try to do it. Okay. Uh, you or me? Um, whatever you want. Okay. Uh, Let me just first. <laughs> <laughs> it's convenient. Huh? What, what a yes. What a uh, yes, ladies first. Yes. Uh, uh, or or uh, me, I, whatever. A real gentleman. Uh, no, it's okay. 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 Um, okay. Um, uh, Fruit of the Loom is an American company. And it started in El Salvador in 1995. What I'm saying is uh, Fruit of the Loon is a very stable component, company that respects the law. Uh, I work at uh, Balsamar. Balsamar plant is a part of Fruit of the Loon. Um, I, I have a... a... I I am going to talk about the dragon dragon beer because I work in Iguanas Tropicales. Iguanas Tropicales is a farm. We produce a different types of reptiles. Uh, we produce iguanas, toros, and bearded dragons. Uh, or the best uh, a product for sale is a dragon beer. Uh, I think if you want a, a pet, easy to care for, what you need is to have a, a bird dragon because they eat a little food. Uh, their food is easy for to get because they, uh, they're, they eat uh, spinach and carrots or uh, cricket. Uh, in, for example, uh, we produce a lot of cricket for, for them. Um, also, the, the dragon uh, need a little space because they are uh, maybe uh, the size is uh, 10 or 12 uh, um, centimeters. Mm. Centimeters. Ten, sorry? Centimeters. Centimeters. Okay, thank you. What about your product, uh, Edgar? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt a moment. Marlene, uh, what happened to your camera? I don't know, teacher, because, uh, bueno, es mi primera vez que me conecto de esta computadora y no sé cómo activar la cámara. Mm, es que... Quiero ver, no sé si soy yo, pero no. pareciera, pero es, pareciera como que, como que está encendida, pero no Sí, para, parece encendida. Ajá, ahí está. Pero solamente se ven como destellos de luz. Ajá, ahí está, hoy mm. sí, hoy sí. 
Now we can see you. Tiene algo que mi hermano me acaba de ayudar. Okay, 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 okay. good. All right, now we okay. can see you. Great. Okay. Thank you very much, Marlene. Okay, continue. Okay. What about your oh, product, Edgar? Okay. Um, okay. And, uh, okay. My, my name is. Mm -hmm. He said, prepare a two minute presentation about the product from your company. Introduce important information about this product using what clauses? present the information in a small groups. Pero pienso que la, la información que dio Fabio estuvo excelente. Yeah. Hygiene was a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any questions, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Something I can help you with? Uh, yeah, teacher. Okay. I, what is that? I need to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, I didn't have time. I didn't have time to do my homework. So, uh, because I'm very busy in my in my job, mm -hmm. but um, we can talk about any products. Of my company, or one specific yes, using what clauses? Clauses. What clauses? So what I'm saying, what I like about, mm -hmm. what the client needs, mm -hmm. what is special about this product. You know anything using what clause? For example, if I say. What you need is to have a great product and what you need is to have a great product. Great product, yes. You need um, a select, uh, a provide a, what is the English word for proveedores? Providers. Providers mm -hmm. can be one example. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions you guys have? No other questions? Okay. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Entonces tenía que llevar ese vocabulario. ¿eh? Ajá. Lo tiene ahí, Fabi. Si quiere. Eh, for example, I, I've heard that you ask for how how do you call this this IP IP number of the computer or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I give support to to serve some. Or the client have problem with their uh, connection with uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, um, we help assigning uh, other IPs or, or connecting with uh, this uh, machine. And what do you request from your customers? Process. And what do you request the customers provide you, for example? Okay. ¿Qué le solicitamos a los clientes? Bueno, que nos mantengan una conexión activa para nosotros poder llegar y, y darle soporte completamente. So, you go physically to the place or, or do you provide no, support uh, over the no phone? No, uh, Our phone or via online. Hi, Noemi. Can you hear me? Hi. Uh. 
Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Sorry, teacher. I am oh. late. <laughs> well, um, I prefer you to be late than to not connect at all. So thank you. Thank you for connecting. All right. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So um, you had a chance to talk to your classmates. Um, so tell me, uh, who would, um, we're going to do this as a volunteer right now. So I, I would like to, a few people to volunteer to present their, well, to give their presentation. Who would like to do that? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Go ahead, Marlene. Okay. Uh, my product is a uh, dragon, dragon bears. It's a reptilian, like uh, iguanas. Uh, in our company, uh, the name is Iguanas Tropicales. We produce a different types of reptilian. Who is the correct pronunciation for reptile? Reptiles. Reptile. So you, oh. I was actually going to ask you about that when I, when I, when I went into the room. You produce the reptiles? Uh, in, in the company, yes. We produce uh, iguanas, toro, geckos, not the, the geckos. Uh, uh, <laughs> Leave, leave, leave us. Okay. Yes. So what you um, mean is you don't you don't produce you reproduce. Yes, reproduce. Uh -huh. Yes, is the uh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Reproduce. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But the principal uh, recti reptile is a uh, dragon bird because. Uh, we reproduce um, around the three three thousand. No, how to say three hundred thousand per year. Three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is is the is the best uh, product uh, for sale? Uh, we exporter exporter to United States. Export. Export. Uh, we export to United States, uh, European. Um, Europe. Euro Europe and China. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think if you, if you want a pet easy to care, care for, uh, what you need is to have a big dragon because it's a, easy for, for feed or for care because they they eat uh, spinach, uh, carrots, or some cricket too. Hmm. In the in the side battle, it's difficult for to get a uh, cricket, but in in our case, uh, we reproduce cric cricket too. You you reproduce what? Cricket. Oh. Cricket. Uh huh. Huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. I I never imagined El Salvador boy being a reproduct uh, like uh, to reproduce these these animals. Mm, yes, but we uh, I I mean I took two, but when I I get a job, uh, my friend says, um, "Do you want to work in a farm? I I think in a chicken." But when I visit the, the farm, it's the iguana, a toro, um, cricket, uh, I don't know how to say, araña. Spiders. A spider, I, I forget, a spider. My spider. spider. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a snake, I'm a snake. fear, I am so afraid of spiders. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm what you call arachnophobic. So I think I don't. I wouldn't be able to, to, um, to work where you where you work. <laughs> In my case, I am accounting. Uh, maybe I I work with the the reptilian only for reptile. Invent, reptile 
only for inventory. Oh, but, okay. mm -hmm, but you don't of, have to go and count them. Mm -hmm. You have to go and count them? Count. I, yes, I count, You need to count uh, one by one. Two, oh. three, maybe. Oh. Do you touch them and do you? 4,000 uh, drowns. <laughs> And no, I would never be able to do that. <laughs> Janu Janu on, on the time, January January 2nd, I, I go to the farm, I count one, two, three drawings. <gasps> or uh, two. Every, every, every January the 2nd. Or yes. Uh, Just so once a year. Once a year, maybe in, on July too. Oh, okay. So every like six months. Two, twice, a, twice a year. Uh huh. Every yeah, twice a year is our. Oh my goodness. She loves animals. I see. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 well, not just. I mean, I love animals. I really love animals. But that, yeah, but that's a going dream. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, Marlene, that you you have a very interesting job. I've got to say that it's not a common job. You, you know, people think, oh, accounting, ah, that's boring. But your job is not boring at all. No, no it's boring. <laughs> no, wow, that I would never have imagined. That's, that is super interesting. Okay, well, thank you for sharing that with us. Okay. okay you're welcome. All right, great. Okay, who would like to go next? Who would like to share a product of the company? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Go ahead, Marvin. Okay. Uh, good night. Uh, tonight, I want to talk a little bit about the service that the company and World for provides. Okay. In this case, the company does not sell a product, but a service. The name of the service is called No Intrusive Inspection. Now, I let's explain the procedure to follow. Procedure to follow. Okay. First, first, the system selects the vehicles to be scanned. No intrusive inspection. Second, the information is digitizing in our system. This step is calling create a data set. Uh, third, the vehicle is scanning and the fluoroscopy imaging is associated with the data set and sent for analysis. Mm. After the data set delivery control tool is reviewed to ensure that the information reached the recipient. The recipient. next recipient. Mm -hmm. Next step, we wait for the data set to return and review this verdict. Finally, the information is printed and delivered to the officer. And this is a brief explanation of the process that, the, that we care, care of every day. Okay, okay, very good, excellent, very good. Okay, bravo, very good, Marvin. Okay, one more, one more, um, one more presentation that you would like to share with us. One more, one more person. Come on, guys, don't be, don't be afraid. Come on. Teacher. Yeah? I have two ideas. First, my company has a many restaurant in San Salvador. What my company did was opening at other places, for example, Irobas, Comorazan, etc. And my company went to be a favorite brand of fast food restaurant. What my company did was get an excellent customer service. That's, that's all. Okay, very good, very good, bravo, excellent. Okay, and I loved how you used the what clauses, exactly, that's very good. Very, very good, Carla. Um, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Very good. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So um, any questions about what clauses? Any problems with the what clauses?
No? No? Okay. All right, guys. So I am going to assume that everybody understands it, right? Yes. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so what we're going to do then is uh, we're going to continue with the next part. For this, I'm going to share over here. Uh, again, tell me when you can see. Everybody can see this or no? Yeah. Yes, teacher. All right, great. Yes, teacher. All right, so here we have a conversation between Miss um, or Miss Nunez and Mr. Roland. Okay, so Miss Nunez and Mr. Roland are having a conversation here, and we're going to be reading it together. Okay, so we have here. I need you to follow with me. Hello, Mr. Roland. Hello, Mr. Hello, Roland. Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Today, Today is your first, first day, day at the plant. At the plant. Okay. My name is Ms. Nunez. My, My name, name is Nunez. Nunez. And I'm going to explain. And I'm, and I'm going, going to explain, to explain what you must do in the production line. What you must do in the production line. line. Production line. Production line. Production, production line. line. Production line. Good. Be careful. If this is not pronounced production, it's not produ, it's prada. Production. Production. Production, production. production line. Good. Production. production. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you Ms. Nunez. Nunez. Where do we start? Where do we start? First, you're in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. First, first you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Please push this red button. 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 Okay, so it's not button. it's not pronounced button, right? It's not button. It's button. 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 So at the end, the sound is like hmm. But button. 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 Okay, good. Second. 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 Grab a pair of tongs. Grab, Grab a pair of tongs and pick out every piece of chocolate. And pick every piece of chocolate. 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 Okay, remember, chocolate. it's not it's not pronounced chocolate. It's not chocolate. 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 Choc chocolate. 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 Good. So this is lit, not late. Right. Okay. Next. Read this chart. Read the chart. chart. And check every piece. And check, and check every, every piece. piece. Make sure that each meets. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. The specifications in this chart. Third, third, place the defective chocolate, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. In, in this funnel. funnel. Finally, 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 fill in a report. Fill in a report at the end of the day. At the end of the day. About the defective pieces. About, about the defective pieces. pieces. Very good. Okay, excellent. What I'm going to ask you guys to do is the following. We're going to, you probably have a lot of vocabulary questions here, right? And 
normally we have been answering the questions together as a class, but this time we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to get you to work in, in your partner, with your partner in pairs. You're going to practice the conversation and you are going to be asking your partner if they know the meaning of the word. So you're going to not just rely on the teacher, but also on your classmates to help you. Maybe your classmates know something that you don't know, or maybe you know something that your partner doesn't know. Okay, so you're going to practice the conversation and try to figure out the meaning of the words. Okay, so is everybody clear on what to do? Yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. All right, excellent. Um, okay, so I'm going to get you guys to work. A partner. Um, Okay, I'm gonna give you um, five minutes. Okay, let's open up all the rooms. Go ahead and join your group. Um, Azucena, Irene, Azucena, are you there? Irene, Azucena, ¿me escucha? Okay, well, I'm going to go. Um, let's Hi. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo. Can you hear me? Oh, we can't hear you. Uh, yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. Um, okay, so um, I'm actually going to assign you right now into a group. Okay, thank you. Hello, Irene. Irene, Susana, are you there? Or you know what, guys? Let's hold on. Let me see if if. Um, Hello, Irene. Can you hear us? Here. Hi. You having problems with the connection? Are you having problems with the connection? I, I have problems with my uh, internet, but I. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave Ricardo yes. and you here in this room, okay? And you can practice the conversation on page yes. 13. Okay? Hello. Hi, can you, can you see this? 
Yes, I see it. So we're practicing this conversation, okay? okay? So you can practice okay. this conversation together. And I will I will see you guys in a moment. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, page 13. Okay. Okay. Bien, déjame. A ver, uh, Luis como que, que salió, teacher está por acá. Ok. Ok, uh, come page of well, um, grab. Yeah, grab, this is the second one. Um, in the Thanks. traductor, grab is like a tape. <laughs> okay. Big Herbert, beef of chocolate. For I think it's partial. a synonym of get taste. Get Okay, it's, it's, uh, it's all for me. Uh, funnel? Funnel. 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 Uh, where is it? Mm-hmm. Serían estas que están en negrita. Push this red bottle. Grab a pair of stone. Uh -huh. Sería, the first is, eh, bueno, eh, para parar la, la mayor, con mayor belt. De ahí sería, push, uh, push this red bottle. Second, grab. Estas serían las responsabilidades, vea. Sí. Espérenme. Abajo dice what kind of <laughs> no cuesta, teacher. <laughs> I know, I know, but but it's the only way you can learn to to try to obligate yourself. Right? So <laughs> yes, okay. I try to um what kind of machine is there is to work place? Mm. Entonces, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so is um, the responsibilities uh, push the they could grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Thread this chart of check every piece. Mm -hmm. Ah, pero sería um, all that, all that. Only that. <laughs> the third year question What kind of is there in your work in your in your workplace? In your work. In my workplace. In my work. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. In my work, I guess. And mm. don't have machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In my work, maybe I don't know. Uh, what machine? Fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. 
Okay. In... Hay varias, varias palabras que son bien, bien técnicas, ¿verdad? Yeah, like funnel. What? Funnel. I don't know the meaning of funnel and tongues and conveyor. Conveyor. Bell is a, like a cinturón, right? Para un conveyor. Conveyor belt. Okay, so guys, I'm going to stop um, sharing here because uh, we have everybody coming back to the room. Okay. okay. Hi, Mr. Alex. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, How are you, man? <laughs> okay, so I have everybody? Yes, right? I think so. I think I have everybody. Okay. All right, guys. So um, I hope you had a chance to everybody to read the conversation and discuss what you think the meaning of the words are. Um, Again, this is this is um, you know you don't have to be you don't have to know all the words. The idea with this activity was just to kind of um, learn to find help with other people, right? So um, you know other people can teach you so much. So you don't have to just um, think that you know the teacher can help you. Only the teacher. Yes, we're here to help you, but you know also your classmates know a lot of information. You probably noticed that um, you know your your classmates probably knew some words that you didn't know. Okay, so let's begin. Um, okay, so here is Ms. Nunez. By the way. Oh, sorry. This is, yeah, this is Ms. Nunez and this is Mr. Roland. And I just wanted to mention something. Do you see this word here? Um, hold on, just give me a moment. Okay, How, this word here, what does it mean? And how do you pronounce it? Miss? Miss? Mrs. Mrs. Oh! Any ideas? No? Okay. All right. I'm going to explain something important to you. This word, the, okay. Uh, first of all, probably the best, the best way to explain is first talking about the meaning of this word, okay? So instead of talking about the pronunciation, let's talk about the meaning. What is the meaning of this word? Anybody know? Senora. Senorita. Okay. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. If you notice, here we have the word mister, which is the title of a man. Okay. So the, so, um, mister, which is pronounced like this, mister. What it means is a married or unmarried man. That's how we use it. We use it to talk about a married or unmarried man. Now I'm actually gonna put this over here. Okay. All right, now, however, we also have uh, other ones. Which, which, what is the, how do you address a woman? What are some, what are, what are the titles of a woman? Single lady. A single lady. And how do you, how do you address a single lady? What is the name of a single lady? Miss. Okay. Right. It's Miss. Okay. And we just pronounce it like this. Miss. Okay. Okay. And this is, like I said, a single lady. Single, sorry, single lady. Okay. 
So she's not married, in other words. Okay. Okay. Actually, we know what I'm going to. I'm going to change the word to. Yeah, I'm going to change it to unmarried instead of single. Just simply because, you know, technically, um, she can be miss if uh, for example she her her husband died then she could she could be just simply miss back again right and then and that means that she's widowed which is something else but um because she's not married anymore then she can also be miss okay now what about if what happens uh when a woman is married how do you how do you call that woman Mrs. Right. And Mrs. the spell, it, it's very similar to this one, like Mr., except you put an S. Okay? So it's like the Mr., but with an S. And this one is pronounced Mrs. Okay? And this one is for married. Yes. Okay. So far, so good. Yes. And when people, I heard they commonly use men. The word men. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, man. I don't know if that is correct to use it or when you can use it. Uh, yes, but it's not as a title. You can use uh, it not as a title. Uh, it, th that is something more polite. Ah, like, it's okay. more like when you say, si, senora. Right? It's more like saying, it's, it's, it's not really, you're not, it's used instead of the person's name. Ah, in a very okay. polite way to address okay. them. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So, um, okay. So there you go. Um, so, yeah, so it is possible to say ma'am, but yeah, it's just be ma'am is very polite. It's being very polite. So, okay. what is this then? What's this? Any ideas? So this is a for a, this this is Mister for a married or unmarried man. This is a Miss for an unmarried lady, and this is Mrs. for a married lady. So then, what do you think this is? It's a contraction of uh, Miss. Well. This word here is actually something that has developed over in the last few years. Oh. Simply because in the last few years, we have a lot of feminisms, right? Or better said, um, a lot of uh, feminists that are fighting for women's rights, right? So they say, well, how come men have a title that's just neutral, that you really don't know if he's married or not, because to give an example, okay, I, just because I'm sorry to pick on you, but um, you know, Rick, I have Ricardo here on my screen and you know, so I can see him. So let's talk about Ricardo. I don't have to know anything about Ricardo. I don't have to know if he's married or not married. I'm still going to say, Mr. Uh, sorry, what's, what's your last name? Ricardo, I can't see it right now. Granados. Granados, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to still call her Mr. Granados. And I don't care and I don't have to know if he's married or not. I'm still going to call him Mr. Granados. So women, no, mostly women, said, okay, well, you know, why is it that men, we don't have to say if a man is married or not? And but a woman, we do. We have to say if she's unmarried or she's married. Well, then they said, okay, well, then we have to so have something that's neutral as well for women. And that's what we ended up with this word, 
that is pronounced like this. Myth. It's wow. called, you say, Miz. Miz. And this means an unmarried or unmarried lady. My goodness. Okay. There you go. Okay. And I just want to ask you, when we use these titles, uh, they always are used just with the last name of the person, right? Yes. yes. Not Very with the name, exactly. just the last that name. Is, yeah, exactly. Because titles are formal, we're going to be using last names. Okay. So we don't normally, we don't say, for example, Mr. Um, Mr. John or Miss Samantha. Mm. Okay. No, this is uh, because it's formal. These, these are titles are formal. So we're going to okay. be using them with last names. What we can do is we can say the first name and the last name together. So we can say Mr. John Smith. Uh, okay. Or okay. Miss Samantha Baker. Okay, we can do that, but we still have to mention the last name. Okay. okay. Sounds good, everybody? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, so there you go. So this is actually Ms. Nunez. So it's not Miss Nunez, it's Ms. Nunez. Okay. Ah, and just be careful because in reality, if you're actually going to say this in English, it's actually Ms. Nunes. Nunes. Okay, because the, the ñ does not exist in English. Okay, so, um, you know, you see a, a, even like on the keyboard, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So uh, when people are writing, like in the United States, when people are writing the word Nunes or Quiñones or... Um, What's another last name that, that has Peña. that? Peña. Peña, okay, um, et cetera, et cetera. Peña. They're not going to put the Enya. They're going to put an N, okay? All right, so just, just keep that in mind. So if your last name has an, uh, an Enya, just keep in mind that in the United States, you're not going to use it, okay? And you're going you're gonna to have to pronounce it, and people are going to pronounce it like an N, okay? something cultural because simply they don't understand the idea of the any it doesn't exist in english okay anyways let's continue here um all right so let's talk about vocabulary here uh, what words do you want to ask about i have i have a doubt in regarding to the pronunciation of Tongues and the tongue. I don't know how to the tongue and the and tongues. Uh -huh. I don't know if that is tongues. <laughs> okay. Please explain. It. Okay, sure. I'll explain in a moment. We're just right now. Just okay. Going to Selecting the words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what what other words? Drop. <laughs> Which one? Drop. Grab. Grab. Oh, grab. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Just going to comment. I'm going to, this is too thick. Okay. That's better. Okay. What else? Conveyor. Conveyor. Okay. I'm actually going to. I'm going to circle the whole thing because it's actually it's together, conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. What else? Funnel. 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 Final. Not, not, not funnel. funnel. Not funnel, but funnel. Uh, funnel. Funnel. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, this funnel. It. Yes, I found it. Okay. What else? That's it? 
Really? Oh, that's not very much. Okay. I thought it was going to be more. Okay, great. Let's talk about, we're going to go first with the word in just in the order that appears. We're going to talk about conveyor belt. Conveyor belt is, um, it's a place that you use um, to push something through. Um, it's, we're talking specially, specifically about, for example, I, I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you where you always use a conveyor belt or not always, but well, for example, if you go into the supermarket and you're going to pay, um, you're going to pay at the, at the cash register and you're going to, you, you put all of your groceries on a conveyor belt. Okay. And when, so when it's time, you're going to pay for it. So you put the milk, you put the bread, you put the eggs on the conveyor belt. And because it's a little bit long, the clerk, what they do is they push a button and the conveyor belt starts moving the products. Okay. You will also see conveyor belts uh, in like an airport, okay? In airports, you will see conveyor belts when um, you have to pass through a machine to um, they they check if uh, if the um, the bag contains anything that is illegal, right? They pass it through a conveyor belt, so it move it starts moving like this, <laughs> like that, right? Okay, and sometimes you, they 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 will have conveyor belts in. Um, in the airport to move people, right? So that you don't have to, like sometimes if you're, if you're feeling very tired because of course some airports are very big and you have to walk a lot. So they, um, they have conveyor belts so that you can, you can stand on the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt moves you through the hall without you having to move yourself. You don't have to be walking. They just, it moves it. Do you understand what conveyor belt is? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. The word grab is, um, is an, an informal word for take. Okay? So grab means take. Mm, All right? I, I just have a question. Is this used for anything? For example, I've heard some people say, yes, grab my name or uh, something like that. I don't know if it's correct to say yeah. in that, grab my yeah. name. But, it, but grab my name. Yeah, you could. Or grab my but, number. Yeah, grab my number would, would, um, would be a little bit more, more common. Common, uh -huh. yeah. okay. Um, so grab my number uh, means just in like, okay, like uh, write it down so that uh -huh. you, can, you can call me. Okay. Okay. So, so what I'm, what I want to understand, teacher, I don't know if this is commonly used just with physical uh, act, actions. For example, in this case, grab a pair of tongs. No, it could be like no. the no, case that I'm asking. Um, uh, grab my You could use it. You can use it for things that are not tangible right? Not physical things. Um, but it's not very common, but it is possible. Like, um, ah, okay. 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 He grabbed my idea. Mm -hmm. means he stole my idea. He took it mm -hmm. right? and he made it his, but mm -hmm. obviously the idea you cannot take, right? Mm -hmm. Physically, right? But it is possible to use it, although it's not very common. Okay. okay. Remember okay. That grab is more informal. Informal. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, uh, I hear this this word uh, uh, using an, an engineer uh, always uh, meaning to the machine. I don't know. Uh, like this example. I don't know. It, it's my. I don't know. It's my. No sé. No sé. Así lo he visto yo, perdón que no, no encuentro las palabras. Así lo he escuchado yo, que la mayoría de veces utiliza esta palabra para, eh, no sé, para el área como mecánica y todo eso. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, 
I don't, I've, I mean, grab is a, is a verb, okay? So um, I don't, I've never heard of grab as a technical word. Uh, but like I said, grab just means to take, agarrar. Okay. That's what it means, okay? All right. Okay, now this word here, it's pronounced tongs. Tongs? Mm -hmm. Tongue. Like the tongue? <laughs> no. No, not like tongue. T not like tongue. Ah, tongue. Yes, tongue. This is tongue. Ta -ta. This is ta. Tongue. Oh. Okay. Okay. Tongue. Okay. And what this is, is um, tongues are... Um, you okay? Tongs are those. Um, what are like um, <laughs> a, an apparatus? Let's say that you can you can use to take to grab something, right? So uh, I'll give you. Uh, so basically, it, it, what it does is it grabs something or it takes something by pinching it. For for example, for electrician. Uh huh. Electricity. Yeah. Um. But this is more like I'll give you an example of Tom. Uh. You know, you know, like when you're going to serve salad, ensalada. So you can you can grab the salad with tongs. Tenazas. Pizzas. Tenazas. Tenazas. Um. Uh huh. But okay, hold on. Just give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. I'm going to actually look for the word tongs because I can show you a picture of it. It's 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 more like for food and and for you know yeah it's it's usually more for food. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to share Arena with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is like, like I said, this is mostly like this one would, would be used for a salad, right? So you just take it and pinch the thing that you're going to grab, right? Okay. Sounds good? Yes, teacher, we understand. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. Erase. Um, okay, let's go back to, okay, so here, uh, oh, sorry, I, se me, se me borró la. Uh, but the, the other word, it was, uh, yeah, I, I think I remember it, I think I remember, so. so Funnel. Conveyor belt. Funnel. Grab, tongue, and funnel. Okay, a funnel, and I'm going to draw a funnel. Okay. Let me draw this funnel. Funnel is something that you would use, like in, like mechanics use a lot of funnels. For example, I need to fill the, the bowl. I put a, a, a funnel, uh, put a liquid, right? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay, there you go. So this is a funnel. Like I said, I'm not the best drawer in the world. <laughs> but you guys, I think, I get the idea, right? Okay, so what happens is, um, yeah, like I said, um, mechanics would probably use a lot of funnel. And what happens is that um, when you want to um, get some liquid into, into a, a small space, um, you can use a funnel. So you drop the liquid over here into the funnel and it comes out up here. Okay, so even though there's a lot of liquid that comes out here, okay, lots of lots of liquid, but it will come out very small here. That's the idea. 
Okay? You guys understand okay. funnel, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Thanks. Good. All right. Great. So that's it, right? Those are all the only words. Or do you have any other words that you want to ask about? Okay, perfect. All right. So having said that, let's answer the questions. We have some questions here. Um, so, hold on. Okay, so we have here, who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Good, Mr. Roland, very good. What are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Uh, push the red button. Good. Grab a pair of tongs. Tongs. Pick every piece of cho ch chocolate. Yes, very good. He's in charge chart. of the stopping. Yeah. Uh, make sure each means the specific as because the specification in the chart too, right? Okay. Uh, very good. And what else? Place the detective chocolate. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Just a moment. Okay. There we go. Okay, so okay, so we have he has to push the red button. What else? So we have stop in the conveyor belt. Yeah, it's very good. Um, stop in the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. What else? Place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Very good. Place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Fill a report. Fill a report. Check every Check piece. Every piece. Hmm? Okay. Pick out every piece of chocolate. Uh, the chart. Yeah. Make, make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Good. All right. So he has lots of things that he has got to do, right? Okay. Um, all right. So all of these are his responsibilities. Now, what kind of machinery is there in your workplace? So we know here we have a conveyor belt, right? That's the machinery that Mr. Roland uses. What about in your in your workplace? None of those. <laughs> None of those. No, because I'm working from home right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and it. and it maybe if I cook, maybe I will use a funnel, but that's it. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Do you use a computer? Oh yes. Oh, okay, there you go. That's a machine. Oh, do you say the oh any kind of machinery? Yeah, of course. Ah, okay. A computer. <laughs> Yeah, okay, what about the rest of you? What kind of machines, machinery do you use in your workplace? I'm gonna to have to ask individually, maybe, right? Juan Francisco, what kind of machinery do you use in your workplace? Motor generator, boiler, compressor, Okay, good, good, excellent. All right, let me see. Um, Wendy, Wendy, can you tell me what kind of machinery you use in your workplace? Okay, in my company, our lift truck, lift truck, and many saving machines. Okay, okay, very good. Very, very good. Um, let's hear Daniel. Can you tell us what, what kind of machinery you use in your workplace? Sorry, teacher, repeat, please. What kind of machinery do you use in your workplace? Um, only computer and my brain. 
Okay. All right. That's good. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, good. Um, all right, good, good, good. Um, okay. All right, guys, excellent. I'm going to stop sharing in a moment because I need to take attendance. Um, so just give me a second here while I get... Okay. All right, so Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres Giovanni? Present teacher. Great. Edgar? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. Sorry. Estoy viendo una cosa del trabajo y me tienen ahí. Oh, okay. Colgado. Sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, Janet. Janet. Thank goodness. Janet's not here. Okay. Uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great, Fabiola. Francisco. Francisco. I'm here. All right. Heidi. Present teacher. Great. Okay. Are you having problems with the camera, Heidi? Ah, there he is. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, Irene. Present. Wonderful. Oh. Solo denme un momentito que se me... No sé qué habrá pasado, se me corrió. Ok. Así. Oh. ¿Y qué pasó? Ah, yo sé qué pasó. Ok, let's try that again. Ok, I see. Uh, ¿Josué Alberto? ¿Josué Alberto? Ok. All right, wonderful. Jos um, no, Juan Francisco. All right, excellent. Uh, Carla? Present teacher. Great. Melissa? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Luis Ernesto? Luis Ernesto? Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Okay, great. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Oh, I can see that. Okay. Are you having problems with the microphone? No. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. All right. I think, yeah, I think there's problems with the with the microphone. Okay, uh, Marvin. I'm still here, teacher. Oh, good, excellent. I'm glad you are. Uh, Wendy. Present. Great, Warner. Present, teacher. Great, uh, Noemi. Present, teacher. Excellent, uh, Yvonne. Present. Great. Okay. Se nos, se nos ha eh, desaparecido Yvonne entre, entre los árboles. <laughs> Ahí está. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Um, Daniel? Present teacher. Great, excellent. Uh, Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto? No. Okay. Uh, Marlene? I am here without Sophie. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. okay. Next time I will say Marlene and Sophie. <laughs> yes, Marlene and Sophie. Right. <laughs> okay. And Ricardo? 
present teacher. Wonderful. Okay, great. Wonderful. We're almost complete. Only two people that were not here, but that's pretty good. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to continue. Um, <clears throat> tell me when you can see my PowerPoint presentation. Yes. Yes, right? Yes, we can. Okay. All right. Good. So here we're going to we're going to be talking about um, imperatives right now. So can somebody help me read imperatives? What is the what are imperatives? Can someone help me read this? Anybody? Just read. I can read. Okay. Use imperatives to give an order, to give instructions, or to make uh, invitations. Uh, imperatives do not have a subject. Good. Okay. So thank you very much. So when you are want to give an order or you want to give somebody, oops, sorry. Let's try that again. Okay. All right. All right. So when you want to give somebody an order, um, or an instruction, or I make an invitation, we use imperatives. Now, something very important that we have to remember is that this is actually the only type of sentence in English that doesn't use a subject. Okay? Okay. Other than that, all the all of the the um, the, the, sen the the sentences in English will have a subject. This is the only one that does not have a subject. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, but there's a reason why it doesn't have a subject, and the reason is because the subject is obvious. It's something that is given. So we don't really need to think about who the subject is because the subject is always going to be the same. If I give, okay, if I give somebody an order, what is the subject? Think about it even in Spanish. Abreme la puerta. What's the subject? The one you are talking to. The person you're talking to, exactly. And so the person you're talking to is? Right in front of you. Yes, it's right Subject. in front of you. And so Subject. what is it? I, you, he, she, it, we, they? You. You, exactly. You. It's always going to be you. Ah, okay. And whether it's you singular, like only one person, for example, maybe I'm going to ask a favor to, I don't know, um, to Noemi, okay? So I'm gonna ask, okay, so Noemi, um, help me read Noemi, okay? So I'm talking directly to her, okay? So it's gonna be you, you Noemi, help me read. No, I'm just, I was just using you as an example. Don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, I was, I can see that's what, that Noemi, uh, that's, that uh, knowing me is like ready there to, to read. No, but thank you very much. I, I was just using you as an example. Okay, but the, the idea is that it's gonna be like you, what, whether it's you, only one person, or you as a class. For example, um, I can say, uh, go to your breakout room. Go to your breakout room, and I'm talking to the class, right? So it's going to be you, you, the class, mm -hmm. and that's plural. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense that the, the subject is always going to be you, okay? So I'm actually going to write this down here so that you can see. You don't have to write the subject, but the subject is always going to be you. Okay, the um, implied subject is you, okay? So even though you don't mention it, but we all know that the subject is you. It's implied, all right? So 
um, so we, these are some examples. Um, all right, let me see. Warner, can you help me read the examples? Are you having technical problems, Warner? Okay, okay, it's okay. No worries, no worries, Warner. That's fine. We'll we'll have someone else help us. Um, how about? Sure. Yeah. Sure. The imperative used when I um, I use a jury order. I giving a direct order. Yes, you're giving a, a direct order. Yes, exactly. When giving a direct order. Okay. Yeah. For example, wake up. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. But not just orders. It's also instructions, right? Instruction. When uh, instructions, like, uh, okay, um, so for example, you're, you're giving instructions on how to make a recipe, right? Um, then you would also use the imperative. Mm -hmm. As an invitation, I don't know if it's imperative. What is the example here? That is an invitation. For an invitation? Uh huh. Um, join us. Ah, mm. uh, okay. Join us. Right. So. Okay. Unete, unete nosotros, right? So it's, we can we can use it also. Okay. okay. Mm. Right. Come, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. So that's also an invitation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um. So. Um. Let's see, let's see who can help me. Um, Manuel, Manuel de Jesus, can you help us with the, reading the examples? Or can you open the microphone? Okay. All right, perfect. There you go. Okay. The the example. Mm -hmm. Yes. One. Ready the chart and check every piece. Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Fill in a report about the defective piece. Unplug mm -hmm. this core and connect the blue one. Uh, for verify the oil level. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Manuel. Very good, thank you. Okay, all right. So I want you to notice that none of these sentences contain a subject, right? Read this chart and, and check every piece. Fill in the report about the defective pieces. Unplug this cord and connect the blue one. Verify the oil level. So you will notice there is no, there, there are no subjects here. And if you have a noun, the noun is not a subject. It's, a, it's an object. For example, this chart. This chart is a, the object, right? Uh, every piece is an object. A report, it's the object. The effect, the pieces, an object, okay? This chord, the object. Um, the blue one, it's an object. The oil level, 
it's an object. So even though it's a noun, it's not a subject, it's an object. So what do you notice about these sentences? How do you start the sentence? With a verb? Right, exactly. We start with the verb. So we have read this chart and check every piece. Fill in a report about the defective pieces. Unplug this cord and connect the blue one. Verify the oil level. So if you notice, we start with the verb. And the verb, what do you notice about all of these verbs? And what is, what is the name of the tense? Is it in the past? Infinitive. Exactly. This is the infinitive. There is me, that means that this is the original verb with no change. Okay? It's in the original form of the verb. There is absolutely no change. No S, no ING, no ED, nothing. Absolutely nothing has been added. Okay? So it's just read, check, fill in, unplug, connect, verify. Okay, so it would be incorrect, and I will, I will emphasize incorrect to be put in, for example, reads, okay, or filled, or unplugging, okay, it would be incorrect to use the S and ED or ING, okay? So don't do that, okay? All right, so examples of, oops, examples of, a, of real life situations where you're gonna be using the imperatives, these are some samples. Okay. Shut the back door. Oh, hold on. Sorry, my mistake. Oh. Give me a second. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so here we go. So, shut the back door, be there at seven, clean your bedroom, complete these by next week, wait for us, get in, make sure you bring a towel with you, choose water, not soda, please be on time. So, do you notice in all of them, we are using the verb in the base form, right? Or the infinitive. Shut the door, be there at seven. Notice you don't say, you don't say is there at seven, okay? You don't say are there at seven or was there at seven. You say be, because the base form of is, are, or, or am, or, or better said the, yeah, the base form or the original form is be. Clean your room. Complete these by next week. Wait for us. Get in. Now, get in is a phrasal verb, and that's why the in, I'm concluding it in the verb, because it's part of the verb. Make sure. Choose water. And then in here, in this one, even though we don't start, with um with the, the imperative we start we do we use we actually started with the um the polite word please and that's just simply to emphasize to make it sound like um not like an order but more of a request okay so it makes it more a little bit more polite when you put the word please at the beginning but after that we would always use the base form of the verb 
Sounds good? Yeah? Now, the, the same thing happens. Uh, this is affirmative, and these are negative. The same thing happens. We're still going to continue using the verbs in the base form. Okay? All right. We're still going to continue using that. Okay, so all of them, if you notice, are in the base form. But what do you notice? What, are, what is the, the other word that we need to use? The verb, the auxiliary, do and don't. Exactly. We have to use don't at the beginning. So the word don't makes it negative. We're always going to be using don't. Don't use doesn't. Okay? Like a redundancia. Don't use doesn't. Mm -hmm. You're always going to be using don't. And the reason is very simple, right? The reason is because where the subject that is not in, that is not mentioned but implied is you. And with you, we don't use doesn't. We use don't. So you always say you don't, not you doesn't. Okay? So there you go. We're always going to make it the don't, don't and the infinitives. So example, please don't leave, don't go there, don't speak to Jim, please don't forget to write your name on, on paper, on paper, don't drink any coffee after 4 p.m., don't call after 10 p.m., please, don't push in the queue, don't pull the blinds down, don't shut the door. Okay. Uh, by the way, do you have any questions about vocabulary from these? Anything you want to ask about? Q really? Q mm -hmm. Good. Okay. I'm glad somebody ha asked me about it because yes, that's it. I, I did this on purpose. I put I put these words on purpose. Anybody know what a Q is? Yes, like in my job, I'm in a call center and the calls are in queue, or maybe when you are printing out a document and you have another one, so there are some prints in queue. <laughs> right. And so what, what is another, what's a synonym of the word queue? Uh, line? Um, no. Yes, maybe uh, they are waiting up. on the line. A lineup. Yeah, exactly. A lineup. So a queue means that there's a lineup. So like, for example, when you go to a supermarket and you're going to pay for something, you have to make a queue. Although I'll tell you something, the word queue is more British English than American oh. English. Okay. Good to know. All right. Uh, but, but it does exist, right? And so <laughs> you, will, you will, for example, you just gave really good examples. You will see um, like in a, in in the computer, you will see things that are in queue, right? Which means that they, or um, you might see it, for example, uh, you're watching, um, you're watching videos on YouTube and you will have a queue of, of the videos, right? The first video, the second, the third, the, the ones that you want to see, right? Okay, so that's a queue. What else? Any other words that you don't understand? Really? You understand all of these words? You understand blinds? Yeah. What are blinds? No. no. What about the window? Don't blinds? pull the blinds down. Sorry, what was that? Yes, like uh, uh, las persianas que nosotros conocemos. Exactly. That's what they are. Persianas. Persianas. Lines. When you see a, the B with the blind with an S, that means persianas. Mm -hmm. And blind is another thing. <laughs> blind is a different thing. Blind is ciego. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Okay. Maybe when the last one 
if you are using, don't shoot the door, shoot. Shut. Uh, oh, shut. Don't shoot the door. Oh, don't shut. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, don't shoot. shut the door. <laughs> yes, I, I don't understand the meaning of that. <laughs> yes, exactly. So it's, this is a, so you got to be careful with the pronunciation because shoot means disparar, whereas shut means to close. Ah. Okay. Like shut your shut your mouth. Yeah, except that that expression is it's not. It's not polite. Um, it's not I know. Really. Uh huh. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And speaking of being polite, you probably have already noticed that I'm using um. I'm using in some of these the word please. And the word please, just as Warner pointed out a few minutes ago, makes the the makes the imperative or the order or the um, instruction not sound so strong so that it sounds like it's an obligation and you're imposing the person to do it. Instead, it's like please don't leave you're it's almost like you're requesting them like please please don't leave it's different if you just say don't leave don't leave it's like you know whether you like it or not you can't leave and um yeah so so that the word please makes a little, little bit more polite okay sounds good okay mm -hmm. yeah sounds good everybody any questions All right, so since you guys understand this, um, okay, actually, I want to stop sharing because it's easier to see the borro todo eso de una sola vez. Okay, good. All right, so since we understand this, let's give it a shot. Let's try to figure it out. Here I have the, here I have the the steps in the chocolate process okay so the chocolate process has a step we start over here right we have we ground mix well it goes like this right so what i want you to do oh first of all do we understand the word ground mix form assemble label check and separate not no 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 which ones don't you understand? I don't understand ground for this uh, item. Okay, good. Ground. Have you ever heard of ground meat, ground beef? Have you ever heard of the word ground beef? No. Ground beef is the meat that you use to make hamburgers. Think about okay. how you make hamburgers. Mm -hmm. What kind of meat do you use? Tell me in Spanish. Carne molida. Exactly. Carne molida. So what is ground? Desecho. So what is ground? Moler. Moler. Mm -hmm. so. mm. Any other words that you don't understand? And in this case, form what man and form what man. to create it. Uh, I I think sounds similar to assemble. Assemble form is to give it, give shape. Give a I shape. Uh, exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah, to give a shape. And assemble. And is... assemble means to put together. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So form to to um, create and make a make a shape with it, and assemble means to put it together. Like uh, when you uh, buy something from, like um, I don't know, what can you assemble? A bike. Maybe a uh huh. Okay, like a, a bike. You uh -huh. you. You, you buy the pieces of the bike and you have to assemble it. Okay, got it. Thank you. Any other words? No? 
Okay, so here is the steps to make chocolate. And what I want you to do is use this vocabulary to complete this. Okay. All right. And what I'm going to do is get you to work. Well, well, actually, first, yeah, I'll get you guys to work in, in pairs. And um, I think I'm going to get you with the same partner as before. Okay. And you're going to try to figure this out. So, um, Actually, no, no, I'm going to recreate. Let's recreate it. Let's see, I have 20, 22, so I should have 11. Okay. Um, Give me a moment, give me a moment, guys. Okay, I think. Okay, all right. Um, I think five minutes should be okay. So let's let's open them up. Here we go. Uh, Wendy, do you have any problems? Irene, do you have any problems? Irene? Irene? Are you there? Irene, are you there? Irene? Irene? All the ingredients to make chocolate. Irene? No, it's, it's a sample. I think that is this mix. Mix. Okay. The power with milk. The powder with milk. And assemble. Yes. All the ingredients made a chocolate tablet. What do you think? It's okay. You have any questions, guys? Uh, um, no, 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 no. no. Thank okay. Thank you. Mm, they're all eager to make um, a case love. Yeah, because there's yes. like uh, eight the steps and sounds... we only have seven words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so maybe. <laughs> so I think we can repeat the words. Um, and maybe yeah. for deco poppings is mixed too. It's a mixed too. 
Yeah. yeah. Remember, remember it's cocoa, cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Yeah. Cocoa, cocoa beans. beans. Okay. okay. And the next one is the powdered milk, the powder with milk. <laughs> we can mix again the powder with milk. <laughs> We can. Oh, she, she's. I, I, I think she said that form is to. Formar. Shape. Uh -huh. Shape. Yeah, yeah, it's shape. To, uh -huh. to, yeah, it's to, to make the shape of the of the thing. But in this case, in this case, I think is that's not the word because that we are gonna. The, the thing that I understand is that we are going, we can mix the powder with the milk. And then the package, uh, I guess, is the package. Four rounds. Label again. Mm, yes, label the package. Is, is, oh, yes, uh, because we label the, exactly, we label the chocolate package and we label the package itself. Yes. I, and the last one is check. Check, the quality, uh -huh. quality control. Okay. Exactly. Okay, I would think in the same too. I just... Three... And so we have... We repeated the label. Label. Yes, right? yes, label we use two times. Ah, uh, okay. So separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. For all, all ingredients to my chocolate, um, chocolate paste of finish, label, label. No lo veo donde dice label. Ah, perdón, label. <laughs> uh, Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. How you Love doing? It. I yeah, just solution the problem, teacher. I... Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Yes. Uh, how does it work? Like how does it work? Putting them in the same group. Are we okay? Así? Yes, teacher. Sí. Very good. It's, okay. it's, it's great. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Are we almost finished? Uh, no. No. Finish. No. Okay. Level. Level. Um, label the the que ver label no the cocoa beans into powder. Um, remember it's the, not cocoa, it's cocoa. Cocoa. Co cocoa. Yes. Sorry. Cocoa. 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 Ground. Ground. Um, do you agree with me, Andres and Fabiola? Yes. Okay. Yes, I agree. Okay. Um, Okay, the first is grown on the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Uh, assemble the cocoa bean into power. Mix the power with milk. Form a simple past. Label the package. Uh -huh. Check uh, quality in quality control. Mm -hmm. Questions? Yes. Problems? Yes, we're finished. You're finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay.
Okay. All right, guys. I hope everybody had the opportunity of finishing off. If you noticed, you will have to use um, some verbs more than once because there were more steps than the verbs, right? So you could repeat. Okay, so let's check. Okay, here we go. All right, uh, everybody can see my screen, right? All right, but it's my PowerPoint. Okay, yes. so here we go. So the first one we know is separate the raw materials to get the only the best co, um, sorry, coca beans. Okay, coca, coca, coca beans is fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, all right, so here we have after separate, what's the next verb? Mix, Mix all the ingredients to make a chocolate tablet. Excellent. Mix. Very good. And I'm actually going to put this in, in capital letter because that's the beginning of the sentence. Mix. Mix all the ingredients to make the, the chocolate tablet. Next, what goes next? Ground. Ground. Very good. So it's ground the cocoa beans into powder, not cocoa. It's not cocoa. I've, I've heard many people say cocoa. It's not cocoa. It's co 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 Next. Mix again. Mix, mix the powder with milk. Excellent. Mix the powder with milk. So there we, there's the first verb that we're going to be repeating. Mix the powder with milk. Mix the powder with milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. For a simple paste. No, the one before. Assemble. Very the good. chocolate package to finish. Very good. Assemble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, remember that assemble means to put together. Okay. All right. Next. Together are the ingredients for, for made a tablet. Sorry? Assemble, assemble the ingredient to make the tablet. Uh, no, because assemble is more like um, como ponerlo junto y arreglarlo. Como ensamblar. Ensamblar, uh -huh, exactly, ensamblar. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, a, sim a, single, a simple paste. For, for a simple paste. Form a simple paste. Good. All right. The package. Label. Label. Label, Label. The Label the package. Label the package. Very good. Everybody understands label, right? Yeah. Yes. And finally, check. Check, check quality check. and quality control. Yeah. Check quality and quality control. Okay, there you go. Questions? Mm -mm. No? No. They're all okay. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. So, those are the answers we have uh, separate, mix, ground, mix, assemble, form, label, and check. All right. So guys, that is the end. So you have learned how to make imperatives. What I'd like you guys to do is think about what orders do you receive at your job? What, what kind of orders does your boss give you? I want you to write down six, Okay, six 
um, instructions or orders that your that your um, boss gives you. Okay, write them down. It shouldn't take you long. That 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 I would say that probably is going to take you I don't know five minutes. I think it. I think everybody has five minutes, um, you know, to be able to, to write it down. That shouldn't take you very long, okay? So I want you to write that. That's going to be for next class so that you can share it with the class, all right? Okay. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, just quickly, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Attendance again. Um, okay. Uh, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres. Yes. All right, Edgar. Oi, oi. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I see you. Okay, Janet. Okay, Janet. Hola, hola, este, eh, Rodrigo. Oíme, por ahí ten, tenemos problemas con un pedido de las 7.40 que se pasó a las 7.40. Uh, Janet. Janet, Janet? No. Okay. Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Wonderful. Francisco Javier. Present. All right. Uh, Heidi. Present. Okay, good. Irene. Irene? Irene? Teacher, teacher. Uh-huh. Irene was a problem the Wi-Fi. She has a problem. Yes. Okay. 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 No problem. No problem. Thank you. Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. All right. Good. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Carla Alfano. <laughs> Don't go and disconnect yet. <laughs> Carla Carla? Uh, Carla. Yes, Carla. Teacher. Carla Carla? Okay, good. Wonderful. Uh, Liliana Melissa? Present teacher. All right, good. Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. Great. Alejandro, uh, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesus? Present. Great. Marvin? Marvin? Present teacher. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Hey, Werner. Sure. Okay. Uh, Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Great. Daniel. Present teacher. Great. Jorge Alberto. <laughs> Jorge Alberto. Okay, Mar Marlene, Marlene? Uh, present teacher. Wonderful, Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, gotcha. All right, thank you guys, everybody. Yes, I'm here, yes. Just, just a <laughs> reminder, solo una, un recordatorio. Necesitan hacer, trabajar en la plataforma. Que para aquellos que todavía no han, no han necesitan trabajar, acuérdense que tiene que estar primera semana para ya el viernes a la media así es que si no han empezado así métale ok pero tiene que ser toda cuántas tareas realmente tenemos que hacer en la primera semana ahorita es, solo serían las cuatro ¿verdad? Porque una por día ajá una por cuatro, día. O sea cuatro que, actividades exacto cuatro actividades para mañana ahorita llevarían tres verdad hasta el día de hoy son tres Entonces, asegúrense, si todavía no han empezado, eso también es parte de su tarea. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, okay, okay. guys, that's it. Um, solo me quedo con eh, Edgar. Edgar se va a quedar. ¿No se va a quedar? Ah, creo que Edgar está. Está en reunión el pobre. Reunión. Ok. Sí. Um, okay. Si alguien eh, desea quedarse, um, solo veamos si, si Edgar se va a quedar. Y si no, pues, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ok. Good night, everybody. Good night. See ya. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Okay. Solo yo un momento. Uh, Marlene. Yes. Okay. Bye. Solo vamos a asegurar. 
Eh, yo no sé si Edgar se va a quedar. Hola, Edgar, ¿me escucha? Hola, hola, hola teachers. Lo, lo siento, y si he estado mal en la clase porque es un problema ahí del trabajo. Ok, eh, no, ok. Solo será, quiero saber, ¿a usted le, toca, le tocaría quedarse? Sí, ¿será ¿Puede? que podría? Eh, no, fíjese que todavía okay. quiero, necesito solventar esta situación. Okay. Si no... Si no, sería mañana o, o lo puedo ceder. El vale, está bien, está bien, excelente. Um, ok. Uh, Marlene, quiero ver. Ay, ya me perdí. Marlene, eh, usted está de oyente. Sí, y más que todo sobre eso, que quiero hacerle una pequeña consulta rapidito nada más. Ah, ok. Vale, solamente asegúrese de que siempre cuando ponga su nombre, póngaslo entre paréntesis oyente, para que, okay. ah, para que podamos identificar si en caso llegara a venir um, alguien de Insapor, puede identificar. Que, ah, okay. Ah, ok. Va, está bien. Um, ok, entonces Edgar, no hay problema. En, vamos a ver cómo lo, re, lo agendamos para otro día. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ok. Ricardo, ¿usted tenía alguna pregunta también o? Justamente lo mismo que le está haciendo la consulta a Marlene. O sea, eh, a no, bueno, me hicieron una llamada y más o menos nos explicaron cómo iba a estar el, el funcionamiento, pero eh, no sé si vas a ver algo diferente de lo que van a recibir nuestros compañeros contra lo que vamos a recibir nosotros los que estamos como oyentes. No, ustedes, Todo será ustedes, igual. ustedes van igual que, que todos los demás. O sea, o sea si, la si misma... cumplimos con todo, o sea, nosotros tenemos el derecho al siguiente nivel. Si cumplen con todo, entonces se les estaría contactando para darles ahí las opciones de cómo que se va a, a, a proceder a hacer, ¿verdad? Pero tienen que cumplir con todo. Si no, ustedes no cumplen con, con todo lo que se requiere, ¿verdad? Asistencia, las, las tareas y todo. Entonces, sí, no vamos a poder um, prometerles ma mayor cosa. Pero si ustedes cumplen, entonces a, se va a contactar con ustedes y se les va a estar diciendo exactamente cómo se va a proceder, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Sí, porque esa era más que todo mi duda. También el eh, primer día que hubo una reunión informativa, yo por cuestiones laborales no me pude conectar. Uh -huh. Tengo otros compañeros, porque fue bien chistoso, o sea, yo soy la que hago toda la, eh, pido la solicitud, que soy la que firmo para las, para, para los, ¿cómo se llama? Para poder tener capacitación y fue la que quedé fuera, ¿verdad? Todos los ingresaron menos a mí, este, yo quedé como oyente, pero ese día yo no pude entrar, porque ellos me han comentado que han formado grupos de chat para información, ¿eso es cierto? ¿En el grupo, en este grupo hay un grupo o no? Sí, hay un grupo. No, y en, ¿Ustedes no recibieron un correo? Para un grupo de chat, no. No, yo no. ¿No recibieron el correo de, de, de inglés corporativo? Eh, yo... Para ingresar... Es que se recibió, ahí venía el, la clave. Ajá. Él venía, eh, venía todo y venía un, un, un link para entrar al, al chat de en WhatsApp. Ah, bueno, yo no lo he revisado bien entonces, porque yo sí recibí y es el link con el que yo entro a Zoom. Ajá. Vale, ahorita, ahorita sí le voy a enseñar cómo, cómo lo tengo con el mío. Ok. Ok, les voy a enseñar ahorita el correo que, es, que a mí me llega, que es prácticamente el mismo que a usted le llega. Igual, ¿verdad? Disculparme porque a veces, o sea, con la... Vale, este ah. es el correo, ¿verdad? Ustedes le llega sí. uno similar, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. ya vi grupo Entonces, de WhatsApp. Aquí, por aquí, no. Exacto, aquí está grupo de WhatsApp. Usted le da clic, le sugiero que lo haga mejor desde su teléfono. Okay. Porque así de una sola vez se le va a WhatsApp, Ajá. porque de lo contrario va a tener que irse a WhatsApp web. Ajá, okay. No puede ser okay. la computadora, ¿verdad? pero, pero un, un, un paso más, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo les sugiero que lo haga desde su celular. Perfecto, así lo voy a hacer. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, igual, ¿verdad? Disculparme porque a veces sí me toca de ley, o sea, atender un ratito a la bebé, porque es como ahorita le estoy sacrificando las dos horitas que le podía dedicar a ella, ¿verdad? 
Y, a y, ver si me y hay alguien que le pueda ayudar con eso. Alguien que, que al, no sé, alguien ahí en su casita. El, el problema es que ellas sí me la cuidan, pero me la cuidan hasta las 7. Ahorita, ahora porque sí, la chica que me la cuida, pues a, me ha estado echando la mano, pero sí, a veces me complico un poquito. Mm, ok, sí, porque mm. yo digo para que usted pueda concentrarse mejor, vea, porque yo sé que eh, pues ahí estar ahí con dos cosas no es fácil. No, es Entonces, bien difícil, de verdad que, o sea, cuando yo pedí la inscripción pensé que iba a ser un poquito más fácil, pero es como ella, o sea, a la hora que vengo apenas tiene un añito y es como no me ven todo el día, se despierta y a veces ni siquiera me ve porque cuando yo me voy queda dormida y cuando eh, vengo... Re... Pero, pero, pero ¿tiene ahí alguien que podría verla en esas dos horas? O sea, ¿alguien que estaría pendiente ahí de ella? O... o sea, mi hermano me ayuda un poco, pero es como hay momentos que ella no quiere estar con nadie más. Uh -huh. Porque uh -huh. o, una cosa que podría sugerirle es de, no sé si algún, puede usted, um, por ejemplo, ir a algún otro cuarto donde ella tal vez no la, no la pueda ver. Y si es, no la puede ver, tal vez no, no sienta esa desesperación de estar ahí con usted, ¿verdad? Sí, ahora, ahora, ahora lo que hice fue quedarme en la sala para tratar de ver si ella logra un poco, por lo menos que si viene un ratito, no sea mucho tiempo, pues. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces usted puede, y sí, ahí acomode ahí las cosas como, le, como se vea mejor, ¿verdad? De tal forma que, pues sí, o sea, que tanto, pues ella no lo sienta, ¿verdad? Y también usted se pueda concentrar mejor. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Está bien. Okay. Prácticamente okay. esas eran las duditas nada más. Okay. Vale, bueno. no hay problema. ¿Alguna otra preguntita, chicos? Este. Sí, teacher, este, una cosa más. Yo estoy casi similar que ella. Yo sé que no es lo mismo una mamá que un papá, lógicamente. Y mi esposa es la que ve a la bebé, porque igual tengo una niña de un año. Entonces, pero también tengo uno de seis y uno de cinco. Entonces, este, se me complica y tenemos que repartirnos entre los dos, los tres nenes. Entonces, la pobre la ha tocado ahorita. Entonces, sí solicitarle que hay veces que me voy a tener que desconectar. Pero eso es que yo al principio tenía apagada la cámara, porque sí estoy escuchando en los audífonos y tratando de, 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 de estar lo más participativo que se pueda. Pero hay momentos que me toca levantarme a, a poderla apoyar en algo. pues Por eso yo por un momentito sí me va a tocar estar apagando la cámara, porque tengo que estar ahí con los nenes. Sí. También, y sí, lastimosamente, o sea, solo, gracias a Dios somos los dos, pues, pero no tenemos quien más nos puede echar la mano en ese aspecto. Pero sí, este, vamos a tratar de, bueno, al menos yo voy a tratar de estar ahí lo más atento, pero sí va a haber momentos en que me va a tocar este, pues, <ríe> desconectarme por ratitos. Ajá, ok. Bueno, um, sí, lo, igual lo, le, lo, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Trate de, de ver cómo uh, pues, se pueden ahí um, uh -huh. repartir, ¿verdad? Entre, sí, entre, lástima que no este. tienen un horario, porque sí habían ofrecido un horario a las seis de la mañana y al final dijeron que no. Uh -huh. No, tal vez muy adelantito, ¿verdad? Puede ser posible, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿verdad? perfecto. Pero, okay. pero, um, pero sí, o sea, y eh, vean cómo hacen, ¿verdad? Porque la cosa es que, como les vuelvo a decir, al, con gusto les podemos ayudar para ver cómo los podemos meter, ¿verdad? Ahí a los, a los grupos, pero sí es importante que cumplan con esos requisitos que no son realmente nuestros, ¿verdad? No, de no yo sé. Sino que yo sé cómo funciona esa por. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pide, Entonces, ok, teacher. Me están llamando, así que sí, voy a ir a, a ver. Ok. okay. Right, Pase, sí, buenas sí, noches. Buenas noches. Okay, take care. <risa> See you tomorrow. Bueno, buenas noches a ambos. Gracias. Take care. Bye.